Good evening, or good morning, good noon, or good midnight, whenever and wherever you're watching this. Welcome to the Sunday Poem. Today it's a beautifully charming poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay, originally published in 1917. Millay was highly regarded during much of her lifetime. She was even called one of the only poets writing in English in our time who have attained to anything like the stature of great literary figures by the prominent literary critic Edmund Wilson. And while her critical reputation declined by the 1930s because of her use of traditional poetic forms and subject matter in contrast to more modern forms that began to arise during that time, during the 1960s and 70s, feminist literary criticism rediscovered her and her work and revived an interest in Malay's works, which often include themes of nature, love and mortality. And today's poem, The Little Ghost, is a great example of her unique ability to weave these elements into wonderful and wonderfully reflective poems. I knew her for a little ghost that in my garden walked. The wall is high, higher than most, and the green gate was locked. And yet I did not think of that till after she was gone. I knew her by the broad white hat, all ruffled she had on, by the dear ruffles round her feet, by her small hands that hung in their lace mitts, austere and sweet, her gown's white folds among. I watched to see if she would stay, what she would do, and, oh, she looked as if she liked the way I let my garden grow. She bent above my favorite mint, with conscious garden grace she smiled and smiled, there was no hint of sadness in her face. She held her gown on either side to let her slippers show, and up the walk she went with pride, the way great ladies go. And where the wall is built in new and is of ivy bare, she paused then opened and passed through a gate that once was there. 